Hi there, it's Joe from Minerva. It's episode two of Back to Basics Learn to Sew. Episode one was all about the kit that you might want to put together so that you can start sewing. Episode two today is all about choosing some fabric that you can get started with. Sometimes it's really tempting, especially on our website, to see a beautiful print or something that's really interesting in a little swatch and you want to choose it because you really love the colour or you really love the print or the design or the motif and then when you get the fabric it's not quite what you thought it was and we'd like to help you to find out some more about different fabric types and which ones are easy to sew and which ones need particular attention. The best fabrics to sew with when you're starting is something that's really stable, it doesn't stretch, it stays where it is, you can pin it together and it's not too thin or too thick to work with your sewing machine. A cotton or a poly cotton, and poly cotton means a polyester and a cotton mix, are ideal fabrics for you to learn to sew with. Let's take a look at some cotton and poly cotton fabrics because even then they can be quite different. A superb fabric to start with is a cotton. This is 100% cotton. It's got a polka dot on, so there's a little bit of pattern, but nothing to worry about in terms of pattern matching or getting um, a big pattern motif in a funny place on the item that you're making. This one's classed as a medium to lightweight, so it's not too stiff. I've washed this fabric so you can see it's just got a little bit of a crinkle in it and before I cut it I will iron it so you can see there look it's just been washed and it's really important to wash your fabric when you get it because it comes straight off a manufacturer's bolt and sometimes you, you, you get it and you can think oh it's a bit stiff and um, it's not so soft so give it a wash in the washing machine um, on 30 degrees or 40 degrees if it's a cotton and you can even tumble dry it if that's how you're going to dry your finished garment but you can just dry it on the line and then it's ready to cut out and the reason you do that is not to get it cleaner is all the shrinkage in the fabric will happen then in that first wash and then you can make your item and then it won't shrink any further. This one comes in 50 colours, so it's a really good one to look out for because it's ideal for making pyjama bottoms, shirts, blouses, uh, tops, bags, makeup bags, napkins, anything that's real simple, easy to start sew. And it's a lovely weight and it's very stable for cutting and sewing. Sometimes it's called poplin, and um, that's an American word for a smooth uh, finished cotton so you might want to search on our website for cotton poplin. This fabric is called a chambray and you have to I'm showing this one in particular because um, chambray is often blue and it's often described as a denim blue so some people see the word denim and think that they're going to get something that's the thickness of denim but it really is just describing the colour so this is called um, light blue chambray and it sometimes says light denim blue, but it is just a shirting fabric. So it is just a cotton fabric. The word chambray actually describes how the fabric is made. So it has white threads going one way and dark blue threads going the other way in the weave. So you get this sort of um, linen looking fabric. This fabric is actually 80% polyester and 20% cotton which puts it in a budget range because polyester is cheaper than cotton. But it's the same sort of weight as the previous fabric. So you could still make pyjama bottoms, tops, shirts, bags, skirts, makeup bags, laptop cases, all of those sort of homeware things you can still make with a chambray. But just be careful that when you see the word denim that you think it's going to be a really thick fabric when actually it's the same as a shirting fabric. Or a cotton really easy to sew nice to work with you don't have to worry about a pattern on here but then sometimes if you use a fabric that doesn't have a pattern on at all then every one of your sewing mistakes will show up there are other types of poly cotton this one is a gingham this one's a bit more lightweight so not sheer but you can see my hand through that. 
still good for making pajama bottoms and um, tops shirts dresses with a gather where you get some fullness from the gather of the fabric really nice to work with but you've got a little bit of a check there a check any bigger than that requires a bit of pattern matching but sometimes it is quite useful to help you cut things straight if you're making something like a cushion or you're making a bag then the gingham sometimes will help you be able to cut straight lines this one's a poly cotton as well polyester in a mix of cotton makes it dry a lot quicker and it creases less so sometimes it's really useful for summer wear because it doesn't require ironing easy to sew good one to choose another fabric to try that's a cotton if you're made your first thing and you're thinking about making something classic or something that will last a long time this is called embroiders anglais and it's a cotton this one's a poly cotton so this is in the budget range of embroiders anglais and it has little holes and there's embroidery around it and it's done on a machine so you get a slight sheen on the fabric on this side and not on the reverse it's quite tricky to tell the right side and the wrong side with that so you do have to have your eyes open and be alert to how you put your pieces together when you sew nice fabric to start with though makes beautiful classic summer dresses summer skirts and summer tops easy to sew next fabric I'm showing you is a cotton duck and a cotton duck fabric is like a canvas so it's got a slightly more open weave so you can see the wefts and warps in the thread but it's still quite pliable it wouldn't be suitable for all garment wear but it would make fine shorts it would make um, cushions dog beds, um, seat covers, garden seat covers, napkins, tablecloths. It's got a real sort of um, durability to it. This one's called Forest, but it does come in lots and lots and lots of different colours. So you can mix and match it with a patterned fabric. So cotton duck is really good for homeware and anything that you want to be durable. It's really easy to sew which is good you'll get a little bit of frame because the weave is a little more open so that's called cotton duck my final fabric is another type of canvas so this one is called ticking and ticking is a form of cotton duck so it's a little bit softer it tends to have stripes this one comes in a couple of different colors this one's mint green really good for cushions seat covers homeware but you can still make garments with it if you like so you could make kids trousers kids dungarees um shorts adult dungarees actually if you made the navy ones to wear with red so this is mostly used for homeware it does shrink a little bit because this is cotton so you need to give this a good wash this one's not been washed yet so I'm going to wash it before I use it. So canvas, ticking, cotton duck, poly cotton, embroidés anglais, gingham, chambray are all fabrics that are really suitable for new sewers. Those are good fabrics there for learning to sew. Other good ones are cotton lawn. That's quite a light uh, weight cotton. Not great for making bags or anything, but superb for making tops or little girls dresses or simple summer dress styles and um, cotton royal is another one that works in the same way so that's quite a lightweight cotton um, uh, that's, that's not sheer but it's stable but it's not really very thick so you'll you might need a petticoat if you're making something like a skirt a swiss cotton dot is another good one for first garments it's a lightweight cotton has a little dot texture on it and um, which makes it for quite an interesting garment choice I'm going to show you a few fabrics now that it's not to say you shouldn't buy them because you definitely can buy them once you've got a few sewing skills under your belt you'll really enjoy using them but at first they'll cause too many problems and uh, they won't help you to get started let's have a look at some fabrics and why you might not choose them as your first fabric 
I'm not going to say things to avoid, but I'm just going to give you a little bit of a lowdown on some other fabrics. So other fabrics that have a larger print on. So this one is a floral design. Then you might need to be careful if you were making uh, something in this that had these bunches of flowers. Because if you had two of these bunches of flowers, you'd get quite a saturation of pink in one place. It is quite a busy fabric, so you could definitely get away with it if you were making pyjamas. I've used this for uh, making a set of pyjamas before. They were really pretty. But just check out the scale and size of any floral prints. If you're new to sewing, little ditzy prints are best because you don't have to worry about clumps of the same colour all landing in the same place. And large, bold floral prints are slightly more tricky to work with. So sometimes the fabric face cloth is a good choice, but just watch the scale and size of your print. This is a viscose fabric. So any fabric that's got a viscose content is much more drapey. And you can see if I do this, it completely holds its shape. It's not sort of ballooning over. If I show you one layer of it, you can see it's really floaty and it's lovely to work with. But if you're new, it's sometimes a little tricky to cut out. So it's slightly more movable on the table. A bit trickier if you're cutting out on the floor, if you don't have table space. So. A vis anything with a viscose content will have an element of drape. So even if you think you're picking a stable fabric like linen, if it's got a viscose content, then that will make it drapier. So check out for that word viscose. Sometimes you see it called chalet or rayon or viscose. Something for you to try once you've got your hand in with sewing. Another thing to watch out for is something with a really bold geometric print. So this is one of our Visco chalets. It made a beautiful dress, but I did have to consider what I was going to do about these big diamonds because I didn't want in any places these lines to start clashing. I didn't want any headless bees. I didn't want a bee that had two bums. So anything with a slightly bigger print or an animal print in terms of a whole animal, not an animal skin print. They take a little bit more pattern matching and a little bit more skill in the cutting out stage. So something to bear in mind is the scale of the print and how geometric it is. It won't be long till you can pick one of those. Another fabric to maybe be wary of just now is anything that's silk or satin or sheer. So th uh, this one is for making a dressing gown. And I've made the dressing gown pattern in cotton lawn before. Cotton lawn is a nice lightweight cotton and it was really simple make. But I wanted to make something luxurious for a gift. So I've chosen this fabric, but I feel confident to use it because I've already made the pattern once in cotton. So I know what's coming up, but it's going to be trickier to cut out. It's really thin, it's shiny on one side, so I'm going to need a lot of different pins. I might need some different equipment to use that, a rotary cutter, some silk pins. So try and avoid anything that's silk, satin, a, a fine crepe, georgette, all of those sorts of things are quite tricky to sew, but definitely possible once you've got some skills under your belt. That's it for today. Um, I think hope you've enjoyed looking at the different fabrics that are easy to sew. Last episode we looked at the kit for learning to sew. Today we've looked at the fabric for learning to sew and in the next episode we're going to look at cutting out our fabric because having a piece of new fabric can feel so precious that we are too frightened to cut it out but with a few simple skills you can uh, cut out your fabric and get ready to sew up your first project, garment or homeware item. You can also join the Minerva Club. It's a members club for a whole year. There's special events and promotions and you'll also get 10% off all your orders, which if you're starting to sew, is a really great way of getting your kit and getting your first piece of fabric. Thank you very much for watching. Do come back for episode three. See you soon.